Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Janelle and today we'll be reviewing this Too Faced Melted in Paris. It's a four piece set that includes their Melted Matte Longwear Lipstick in the shade Lady Balls and then My Type, Gingerbread Man, and lastly, Bottomless. So I did pick this up from Sephora for $25. I did, um, use a 10% coupon so if you sign up for their text messages you will get a 10% coupon that you can use on your next purchase and that um deducted two dollars and fifty cents which isn't much i still paid twenty four dollars and thirty six cents for this but um i thought i would get my review up just in case you are wanting to pick this up for yourself or for a loved one and you want to know what they look like on the lips we will be doing lip swatches usually i do natural lighting swatches of the products themselves the box and all that um but uh, it's been very gloomy outside. I don't know if you can see out my busted blinds, but it's been raining for the past two days and I think it's going to rain tomorrow. So I'm wearing a cozy sweater, um, have my hair in a little messy bun, fill in the fall vibes. So, um, instead of doing my usual, I just use my ring light to take pictures of the box, um, how it came wrapped in a beautiful pink tissue, the colors on the front and the back of the lipstick, as well as swatches on my hand. So my hand's a little stained there. Um, so yeah, let's dive in before we dive in. I would love it if you would subscribe. I do a lot of swatch reviews here on my channel. Um, I've been doing a lot of luxury holiday reviews on lipsticks and stuff like that. So I will leave some of them listed down below in the description box if you want to see that. Um, but yeah, definitely subscribe. I do post a lot of makeup related content here on my channel. So if that's something that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe. And now let's jump right in and go ahead and go, uh, to the product shots and then, um, we will do the lip swatches. Um, it says they are travel size, so I'm assuming these are smaller than the, um, regular ones, and Lady Balls, My Type, and Bottomless are all in their permanent line. I was looking on the Sephora app today, and a lot of the shades they used to have, like Child Star and stuff like that, I don't think were on the website anymore. A lot of the OG shades weren't there anymore. Gingerbread Man is the only... Gingerbread Man is the only limited edition one and when I with them, Gingerbread Man was the only one that had the scented smell and um, they all come in their standard like gold packaging but I would love, I would have loved it if they would have uh, made the tops for them like the past reviews. I will try to link my other reviews for the other sets down below because I review these every single year here on my channel so um i think that was everything let's go ahead and apply them on our face i think we're going to start out with the lightest nude which is called my type um i do have a lip balm on so i'm just going to quickly remove my givenchy lip balm and then apply the lipstick so these have like a light vanilla smell to them and i'm not going to apply this with lip liner just so you can see the true color uh but usually i would go in with the like a neutral lip liner So the consistency is like creamy, but then I think they're enriched with vitamin E and all this other stuff. I will leave a description on the screen right here, a screenshot from the Sephora app. So this isn't the best lip application and I'm looking very tan in the camera. I don't know if I went overboard with my bronzer and also my powder is looking very neutral. It's making me look gray almost. I'm not liking my complexion today. But anyways, here is my type. I would definitely pair this with a lip liner. Um, next time I wear this and so my type is coming off very peachy on my lips um, 
Again, I would wear this with a nude lip liner. I think this is going to look beautiful on fair complexions. Um, right now with this dark bronzer powder situation I have going on, I look very tan and it's it's not a very flattering nude on me, I think, personally. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm just not feeling this one. Hopefully, the next few ones look a little bit better. Okay, so here is the bottomless. Um, to me, it's a very cool tone barbie-ish pink not like fuchsia barbie but like a, a more lighter cooler barbie um i will put the descriptions of how Too Faced describes these colors on the screen so you can know and i'll describe them as i see them i would definitely wear this with a lip liner um sorry if the application isn't perfect it was difficult to remove the other one because they dry down right now it's feeling less tacky and i don't think my teeth look too yellow these colors kind of make my teeth look yellow but it's kind of pretty i would wear it with a very smoky like black silvery sparkly eye with a lip liner around the edges really blending it and just keeping it more towards the center but um here is bottomless Okay, so next here is Gingerbread Man. I do apologize if I have a little bit of pink smeared, but I really do love this color. It's like a brick orange color, like brownie. Has a little brown and red mixed in there, but definitely orange. Um, I think this one's most flattering on my skin tone so far with having a like deeper uh, base today because I'm usually not this tan. I don't know what's been going on. My bronzer powder combinations have not been working on me. I look almost kind of muddy. Like I'm not digging the look. Um, but this lip color is stunning. I think this is going to look good on fair, medium, and deep skin tones. So I think this will work for everybody. I feel like their sets in the past have worked out a little bit better. But those two nudes on my skin tone just were not it. I will definitely have to use a lip liner. I will definitely have to use a lip liner to make those two shades work. But this one is just stunning on its own. I can see me rocking it a lot in the fall. And yeah, I really, really love it. I did forget to mention that Gingerbread Man does smell really, really good. It kind of smells like a graham cracker with a cup of hot cocoa sprinkled with some Oreos or something beautiful like that. It smells really scrumptious and delicious. Sorry if there's stainage around my lips. I'm going to go ahead and apply the last shade to see what we think. I did quickly forget to mention again about the packaging. I really wish that it came in the limited edition Gingerbread uh, Man packaging is just standard but the pretty the color's pretty i think they really did cheap out on the packaging i would have loved to see festive designs on all the lids like this one could have had ornaments on it like red pretty ornaments it's called lady balls balls ornaments i don't know and then uh, the other ones are nudie colors maybe lighter ornaments or christmas star or i don't know something more festive on it but um here is lady balls it's very very pretty i love how it's like a red but has depth to it so i think this is gonna look beautiful on all skin tones i think it's gonna pop on my fair skin ladies on medium skin tones. as you can tell my base is medium today and it's just so bold and pretty i really really love it and um i think they changed the name of or they might be changing the name of this because they have a bullet lipstick in this color and it's called lady bold i think balls is a little vulgar and maybe they're just trying to get away from that um but lady balls is very very pretty it has stuff to it and i think on deep skin tones this is still going to be so beautiful it's going to pop on all that deep richness uh underneath your skin like i think this is gonna fit everyone i really really love this one so so far the two winners have been gingerbread man and lady balls i do think the lighter shades wor will work for me when i'm pale and um when i'm medium skin tone i will just have to use a lip liner and i can make it work but um yeah i'll definitely reach for these two so i do i think this is a good value 
well that's up to your discretion how you will use these if you will utilize them at all uh some people will not want to fuss with them and stuff like that and will just hate the two nudes kind of um depending on your skin tone i think if you're fair or light like you will love them uh medium and deep i think it'll be a little bit more finicky to deal with so if you want to deal with that then cool you can utilize all four but if you're not going to deal with them maybe you can put them in someone's um put them in someone's stocking for like a stocking stuffer um but i do think these two shades the last two shades are going to be stunning on everyone else um i mean all like across all skin tones so for me personally i will use these two more and if i don't like the way they look with lip liners at my um deepest then i can just uh gift them to my daughter or someone who doesn't mind me giving her used makeup but all in all i did really like this set for 24 dollars even if i'm just using the two well it's 24 dollars for me because i had the 250 off but anyways um with the taxes it was 24. these come out to be about 12 dollars with tax for me um if i'm just utilizing the two shades and for me that's great that's like a drugstore point i love that they're um travel size uh these aren't supposed to be the full size apparently and i like that about it because i'm not gonna fly through lipstick so this does have a 12 month span i find that they last maybe two to three years um in my opinion that's when i feel like they go bad uh so i will be keeping these in my life for about two to three years so i think for 12 dollars, that's at, like a drugstore standpoint and that's great and if i break it down even further amongst the four um it's even cheaper and even a better deal but only if i use them is it a better deal because if they're just sitting there collecting dust um then it's just not worth it so um i don't know buy at your own discretion whether you think it's a good deal or not and i hope you guys found this video really helpful again here is lady balls And I'm glad that we actually um, finished off on this one because it's a very nice holiday red. I could see myself wearing this to parties and stuff like that. And it goes good. I have like a neutral eye on, neutral base. Like my blush is not too orange or too pink or too purple, whatever. Like it's a nice just middle of the ground color. And this is like the star of the look, I think. And I really, really like it. I will be wearing this one more. Um give this video a thumbs up if you did find it helpful let me know what your favorite shade was down below if you'll be picking up the set and what you thought of all the beautiful colors let me know if there's a kit that you would like me to try out i would love to buy it whether that be a lip set cheek set whatever and i would definitely swatch it and try it on here on my channel on my face so i love you guys so much take care and i'll see you all in my next video Mwah. bye